For some days now, a tense cloud has been hovering over the Akwa Ibom State House of Assembly. The gates were shut and police presence heavy. Wrangling between House members over defections was largely the cause of the closure. The Speaker of Akwa Ibom State House of Assembly. At the National Assembly, the matter was brought up as one that should not be swept under the carpet. These five members of the House of Assembly went to court to compel the Speaker not to declare their seat vacant upon their defection to a political party. Mr. the President, it is on the basis of the judgment of the court that the Speaker declared the seat vacant. The National Chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, cried foul over the alleged use of the police as pawns of intimidation. The Commissioner of Police there colluded with the state government to forcefully, you know, force APC members uh, out of the State House of Assembly. And the, governor, uh, the Commissioner went beyond the bound of duty to aid and abet what was clearly wrong. Eventually, when the gates were opened, there was hope that peace would reign. But it seemed even that was not possible. As pandemonium broke out, when it was discovered that the five defectors had allegedly attempted to impede the Speaker of the State House of Assembly. Once members managed to eventually make their way into the House, the Speaker called on the federal government to step in. We are calling on the international community and we are calling on the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to take note of what is happening here in Akwaibom. Convening an emergency world press conference, the governor of Akwaibom, Udom Emmanuel, described the entire matter as a plan by the upper echelon of the All Progressive Congress to destabilize the state. And if they are playing politics this way, there's no hope for democracy in this country. And this is in line with the plan. We have their script that number one, they want to cause mayhem in the state so that election will not be held the same day general election will be called. But we are trying to tell them if election is not over on that week, we can't hold election on that same day. They should forget election here. Yeah. Yes. A claim the APC flatly refutes, saying that the governor of Akwa Ibom State is crying wolf where there is none. And the governor and the state government is taking every step, having lost the people, having lost the sympathy of the people, to whip public sentiment in every direction. 2019 is certainly gearing up to be an interesting year for Nigeria. Hopefully, this problem in Akwa Ibom State and others like it will be ironed out before the general election is proper, as anything short of peaceful resolutions will not be in the best interest of democracy. Well, yes, uh, we're starting with that uh, this morning, and let's head to uh, a jury is. A jury. Thank you, Chamberlain, and welcome to Abuja. I have with me this morning two gentlemen to discuss some of these unfortunate scenarios playing out in Akwaibom State at the moment. Uh, Mr. Ben Nwoye, who is the chairman of the state chapter of the governing All Progressives Congress in Enugu State, and also Mr. Emmanuel Agbo, who is the deputy national secretary of the opposition People's Democratic Party. You're very welcome to the program, gentlemen. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Let me start with you, uh, Mr. Agbo. What is your assessment of what has unfolded in Akwaibom State and what the implications are uh, ahead of the 2019 general elections? Thank you. Um, without politicizing the issues, we have gone 16, 18 years down the line in, the demo in this democratic experience. And I think, if anything, most national institutions are supposed to very clearly maintain integrity, divulge themselves from part uh, uh, partisanship in the overall national interest. And when we speak of such national institutions, we say so because uh, we refer to particularly the security institutions in this country, the Nigerian police, the Nigerian Navy, Nigerian Air Force, Nigerian Army, the civil defense, custom services, mention them. These are institutions that by their own creation, the, the survival, the collective unity 
of this country squarely lies upon them. And at any point in time that they become partisan, they help to further divide an already divided system. And what that does is first, it brings democracy, which is in the context of nearly all Nigerians today, no matter how bad, the most cherished form of government for them. It brings it to a threat. Can you just apply, apply that principle to what is unfolding in a Kwai bomb? How do you think these institutions are, are functioning in a way that is uh, partisan? Let me say this. If in just one month of less than 30 days, the head of the police command in a Kwai bomb had had to experience three major transfers, it calls for question. The very the present CP is less than a week on ground in a Kwai bomb. And to the extent that after a court judgment, if there is anything, the requirement of law, basic, basic understanding of, hum, of, of the citizenry, 